so it's uh, just coming to the end of November and uh, this is what our green manure looks like. Um, pretty thin I have to say. Um, I think it's something to do with the way I established it, uh, seed rates um, and the like. Um, so there's not much here, so it's not a great green manure. If you look down at the ground there's lots of sort of bare patches in there, but the mustard is there. Um, you can also see uh, the phacelia um, is there as well. Uh, the crimson clover really didn't uh, germinate, uh, or it did germinate and was maybe eaten, but there's not a lot of crimson clover there. Um, so I've just taken the decision to start ploughing it in now. I was going to leave it till after Christmas, but um, I've decided, uh, given the state of the green manure, to plough it in now. And as you can see, it's um, even though it's been relatively dry here for a, a while, we haven't had that much rain. Um, you can see that you know this is what this soil sort of turns over like at this time of the year. There's uh, one or two of the sort of a longer um, mustard plants sticking out out of the out of the plow, uh, but I'm not too worried about that because the next plan will be in the frost during the winter when we've had a bit of frost action on this um, on this soil on this ploughed soil. Then we'll go through it uh, with a cultivator. And anyway, any um, uh, mustard remaining will actually be killed by the first frost um, so um, that's the plan uh, to cultivate it during the winter and then hopefully get a relatively near to a, a seed bed for drilling in the spring